I recommend that you open it and confirm the contents. I've been running to many places the past few days through all sorts of weather. The contents may have shifted, so it's best to check that everything's intact. No need. You haven't opened it to see what's inside, have you? Of course not. That would be against our company policy. But if the contents are valuable, I would still recommend checking them first. If anything turns out to be damaged, I could compensate you now. I said no need, didn't I? Why are you so persistent? You know, boss, this little lady's out here all on her own. We could use that to our advantage, you know. Hey, you. Are you the only one delivering out here? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, that's right. I, I wouldn't bring a bunch of people with me to deliver a package. Uh, oh. I'm no good at lying. And I can't keep my tails from moving everywhere. Look, she's getting a signal. But, wait. Uh, Paimon doesn't recognize that signal at all. <sighs> Uh, the, I nearly forgot! The, this just happens to be my 100th delivery. It's a really special moment for me. If you could let me know what I delivered, it would mean a lot to me. Her tails are moving all over the place. Does she need us to step in or not? Her tails keep moving and intertwining. They keep pointing in different directions. Ah... <sighs> Maybe she's trying to say that she mixed up her directions. These people aren't the intended recipients. Seriously? There's no way anyone could get all that just from her tails. Something's not right. I can feel it. And you seem real concerned about this package, Missy. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. That's just part of my job. We always care about the customer. Are you really not going to open it? Come on, boss. Enough talk! Yeah, nobody will ever know anything happened way out here. Uh, then do you have a moment to leave a five-star review? <laughs> sure. I'll leave a five-star review after you're dead! I don't know if that's his way of unwinding, but I'd say he's just keeping himself cooped up. Are you friends of his? Yeah, you could say that. Hmm, her tails are moving again. Is that what happens whenever she tells a lie? So, what was the holdup? Sailing delays, bad weather? Huh? No, nothing like that. I just ran into a bit of trouble, that's all. Bandits, then? Or treasure hoarders? Hmm. <sighs> A few run-ins on the road aren't usually enough to give you any trouble. Uh, well, I didn't run into anyone exactly. I just got a little lost. Keeping you honest as always, I see. Uh, all right, all right. I was stopped by a group of bandits as soon as I entered Fontaine. They were a little different from the ones I usually run into. I could hear the mumbling about Comania Express. It was obvious they were looking for someone with two tails. So it was a targeted hit? Uh, I got the sense that they were actually targeting Chiori's goods. My fabric shipment? Yeah, they said that I could go as long as I left the goods with them. Otherwise, they'd stuff me into my delivery box and toss me into the sea to drown. Are you okay, Kimura? Oh, I'm good, I'm good. I'm still a yokai after all. I turned them over to the guards. It just took me a while to round them all up. Well, it's not completely out of the ordinary for one of your deliveries to get intercepted. But it still doesn't make sense how you knew it was my goods they were after. You've got other deliveries to make in Fontaine, don't you? Is there something else that you're keeping from me? Uh huh? Um... Well... <laughs> Perhaps I need to reconsider how many stars to give you in my review. Uh, you always know how to get me, Chiori. Alright, I'll talk, I'll talk. <laughs>